I'm just now leaving one property, um, headed to another property. I'm gonna go pick up a couple of guys. A couple of my agents are gonna actually go with me to look at this next track. Uh, just been a normal day, been in office most of the morning getting some uh, mapping done and kind of getting uh, caught up over the weekend with uh, emails and stuff like that. Now, you know, be on the road going to look at a couple properties. I had to call a client today. Uh, did that while I was on the road a little while ago. He uh, withdrew one of his listings. It wasn't a big listing at all. It was, heck, it was less than 40 acres, uh, but, it, but a listing had a, he withdrew it a week or so ago. No big deal. That happens from time to time. Uh, but I found out today that he was a little bit unhappy about uh, the with the agent, and um, he wouldn't tell. So I called the gentleman. I got his number and called him and said, "Hey, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry you're unhappy. What what can we do? What 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 happened? What can I fix? Uh, help me to understand so we can do it better." And uh, he wouldn't tell me, uh, and that's okay. I don't, I think he just wanted to kind of let it be and let it go. Uh, so. You know, I can't just let that lay. So I get the agent on the phone and I had a, had a good conversation and, and piecing everything together, it looks like it was one of those scenarios and we've seen it before. Everybody in real estate has where it, it's just nobody was gonna be happy. Uh, the property wasn't selling fast enough. It's, it's a little overpriced to start with. I've seen, I know the track. It's just asking too much money for what it is and where it is. Uh, you know, the agent wasn't calling uh, regularly enough uh, with updates even though we normally communicate with people hey if we're not calling you it's because we got nothing to tell you uh, we don't call you just to say we got nothing to say so we normally try to communicate that but there are some people that still they that agent's working for them and that's the only property they've got and they want to be on the phone with them every day knowing what's going on when's it going to sell and usually that's an indication that, that there's a lot of pressure to get it sold, uh, personal pressure on the seller side. We've seen that so many times. Probably the case here. But anyway, I hate to see anybody unhappy uh, with our service. It happens. We're human beings serving human beings. Uh, sometimes there's just going to be conflict and places of disagreement. And good as we are, as hard as we try, as good as this land agent is, he's a rock solid one it's just gonna happen so what can you do anyway hurts my feelings some but as as a broker and you know businessman somebody's trying to grow and uh, keep our reputation as solid as, as I can I got to pick up the phone and call and you know try to hash it out so anyway how's your day <laughs> so, you know, just just part of part of doing business but uh, the property I left is a great property. The property I'm headed to is a great property. The two guys I'm about to meet are another two more great land agents. So I got a whole lot more going for us today, positive than the one little negative. But it, isn't that normal how we are? We the, one, the the little negative things, the thing that occupies our thoughts instead of the hundred positive things that are going on. So anyway, uh, welcome to the land business.